Hello everyone, hello gents, how's it going? I hope you're all doing great. This is me, Carwan again. I know most of you about, you are familiar with my style that with the highest I want to share some idea to transfer and give in my idea and information and experience to you. You know, sometimes it's like during the, the last, the past 10 years experience of guys in industry. I think is if the guys, if the pupils, they are learning and they are getting the information and they are closing with the simulation for that reason they can be an expert, be expert person in a short time, okay? Like I say, during the 10 years that I get to this point, but I am sure if you are, for example, in the beginning of your career, you all started, you can start to learn the simulation, especially like high says, okay? At that time, you are not needed 10 years, just maybe you needed two and three and five years to become an expert person, okay? For that reason, the high says it's help us a lot to, to more understand, to get it better, uh, information about the plant, about the scenario, about how to protect the system, okay? In this short video, just I want to talk about that some different topics and tips that is available in Hisis is really, really, this is the same, like uh, a real life that we are walking day daily in our plant, okay? As you know, the, my experience is, is consists uh, in the refinery, for example, and the natural gas processing, and also the terminal and the crude oil production facility. For all of them, the control system, it is the same concept, the same idea that available in the high seas. That is mean if you want to be expert person, it is better. This is the, you have a short way. You can learn heists. The heists help you and support you to become an expert person, okay? For that reason, my recommendation is for all of the guys that they work on oil and, in oil and gas industry, please, do the best for yourself to learn the heists, okay? By the way, you know, so we have uh, several different courses around the board, but also I recommended my course that is consistent in the two level, in the intermediate and a beginner level, and also I have an advanced level. That is, is help you a lot to understand because I shared all my experience and all the idea that available in the highest and we can do on it, okay? Look guys, okay. The first time I wanted to uh, a short and brief description about the plant that is available in front of you, okay? It's totally we have a special separator. This separated is separated the gas from the top of the separated and the liquid from the bottom. That means we need a feed. This feed is coming from the stream number three. It consists of the two frames with a special flow rate and the temperature and the pressure. The feed is coming to the separator, but as you see, we have a two different valves, okay? The one of them is I wrote down the ESD, that means emergency shutdown valve. The second one is we have a flow control valve. The ESD, that is being for protecting the separator and the system, okay? The second one control valve for controlling the flow, that is how much the flow I need is coming and pass through the separator, okay? And in the down, in the bottom of the separator, we have a special liquid that is coming out to the liquid to the next process but by the way we I have to control the level inside of what inside of the separated by what I have a special control valve and with a controller this controller is controlling the level inside of the separator because you have to protect the level if not protecting the level all the time is the flow is coming if we have a variation okay inside of the separator we have an oscillation that's mean the level is not become stable for that reason, you have to protect and keep the level in this value that you want, okay? And it's also in the top of the separator, we have the gas. This gas, in here, we have a sound point that I wanted to share this also with you, okay, guys? In the top, we have a three main line that is, is divided into three main lines. One of them is the mechanical divider that we are calling the PSV, pressure safety valve. That is mean this PFD is installing for protecting that separator because you know guys 
each equipment in our plant, in your plant, in oil and gas industry should be installed. We have to install the mechanical device safety to protect our system, to protect our equipment. Okay. And the second one, the third one is it. They are working like a normal and abnormal operation. Okay. Look. The first one is the PSV we ordeal. This is for protecting the system. The system. That means if the pressure is reaching, because we have a two different pressure: normal pressure, normal operation pressure, and we have a design pressure. Design pressure. That means this separator is, for example, it doesn't has any problem in normal operation, but it is a rigid design pressure. That means if this the material on the welding is not, for example, reach you to and to put it the more the pressure over the design pressure and what we can do is reaching over pressure and the design pressure we put it inside the mechanical device if they reach the design pressure and the mechanical device it has the same point it is pop up and send it to the the flare that's mean is reducing the pressure inside the separator to keeping the the, the separator in safe and releasing the extra gas that available in the separator okay the second one and the third one we can use an end one by one okay look in the down one we have a vapor line and also we have a control valve to controlling the flow in here and also after the control valve we have the main line is go to the lp compressor that's mean low pressure compressor that is me look get my point at all the time the normal operation i know it is divided to three point three main line but the normal operation is go through path through the way to the vapor and goes to the lp compressor okay guys that is mean the normal operation the gas is, is flow through where it rotates from the the t okay it's become the vapor and go to the lp compressor this is a normal operation gas path through and rotate to the compressor if the, by any reason the compressor is tripped because the compressor is electrical device if the the any for example emergency case happen any a uh, distributed electric inside of the compressor that's mean the compressor is tripped if any emergency any leaking we have to stop in the compressor if the stop the compressor that's mean the gas is not anymore rotated to the compressor but at that time where it is going where the gas is going where the gas is rotated the next line is coming to go to the flare. Let's go to the HP flare, okay? To high pressure flare. Okay, guys, that is mean the normal rotating gas is go pass it through the vapor and goes to the LP compressor. But if the LP compressor it has any problem, for example, trip it, the gas is back and it is going to the flare line, is go to the HP flare, okay? But how we can control it? We can control it by the split range controller that means we have a special controller that is available in the real life that is normally daily i see in my plant in here it's also i install a split range control okay guys that is is so simple in the top we have a three different line the one of them is for protecting the equipment that's mean safety side the second one is for the normal operation the vapor to the lp compressor the third one is if we have any abnormality the pressure increased out uh, the lp compressor is stopped okay trip it the gas is where it's going should be it released from the flare to the hp flare okay maybe you have a you have a question and you ask why if the lp compressor is stopped why it's not going through the wear for the psv the guys look psv just for protecting the separator that's me this is the last protection that available in the separator, okay? Right now, I want to talk about that. We have a four different safety system level and protection. The first one, ESD system, this is like that. The second one, process shutdown system. Like if the pressure increase, we have a SIS system. If the level high, high is also. The third one, fire and gas protection system. The last one we have a mechanical device like a PSV. Okay, guys, that is perfect. Look, I want to run my plant. Okay, I want I want to run for example, rotate the the looking at the gas with the separator and see. I want to see it how the separation is accurate inside of the separator. 
okay? And by the way, I have a two scenario to you, okay guys? The first one, how the ESD is activated because it's normal ESD is 100% open, okay? Because the position of ESD or zero or 100%, it's normally in the normal operation, 100% is open. But I wanted to show, share with you, I wanted to show you if the level inside of the separator is reached the high high, that is mean if reached high high, that's mean is make a problem for us. Which problem? If the level is become high high, that's mean the level inside of the separator increase. If the level high high, maybe some liquid is passed through the gas line. It is goes to where it goes to the normal operation line, it goes to the LP compressor. Guys, you have to be sure, never ever, the compressor is not accepted the liquid. It's the liquid is go to the compressor is become the damage inside of the internal component. Okay, if the secret pump, if the spigoting compressor is is make a problem, damage the piston, damaging the screw. Okay, that is mean should be your protected the system. How we can protect the separate system if the level is become high high? If the liquid liquid level inside of the separator become the high high, that is mean I have to. Cutting the flow, that means no any more flow is coming to the separator. How we can cut it? Okay? By what? By the ESD, emergency shutdown valve. Okay? That means the process shutdown valve, the process uh, shutdown valve, if the level is become high, high, it is sending the signal to ESD, the ESD is closed from 100% to zero, and no more any liquid and gas path it through and rotate to the separator at that time we can reduce the load level the pro the system is protected it's not any problem and any cases is happened on it okay okay let's go to where to that run of the simulation okay guys when I run the simulation log in here the PV that means it go to the tuning we have a 45 inside of the level okay that's mean the level inside of the separator we have a 45 and let's see in here how much the flow is coming. The flow 50 meter cubic per hour is coming to inside of the separator. Okay, let's see the pressure is inside of the separator. How I can control how much the pressure? The pressure is normal. We have a 3.7. I can put it at 3.85. Okay, look, the normal the flow is passed through to where? It's passed through to the flare. Let's check the flare. Let's check the, the flow of the flare. Look, the flare is minor. That means that the gas is not passed through the flare. It's passed through to where? To the vapor line, to LP compressor. Look, the molar flow is 86.66. The mass flows we have a 29.49, 29, kilogram per hour. That is mean the normal, the gas is, is through the vapor and goes to the LP compressor, okay? How we can, for example, the set it in the split range control log from zero to fifty percent of the the main control of split range should be this line is open. If the position of the SPLT, that means split range, is become the, from fifty to zero, the second line is also is open. Okay, that means it's not all the time. If the LP compressor is steep, if the too much gas is coming inside where in the separator extra that means more than the amount the normal gases the the line of the air vapor is fully open but still now the pressure inside of the separator is increased what we can do that time should be the next line is became started to open to keep the pressure inside of the separator when the pressure is back to the normal the line of the flare is also is closed down it's shut and just the gas passes through and rotates to to the vapor line to the LP compressor okay in my case right now I want to show you if the level is become high high okay how the ESD it get a response okay how the ESD show the response it's shutting the position from 100% to zero okay the first time let's go to the events I want to start my event okay because the events is really really so important in our process this is this is the high level of the experience and all the highs that means if you if you can for example using the event schedule that means you are in the high level of using the highs I can start with the event okay 
block started the event, the event is running, but still no no have any problem because the level inside is separately fortified. I say if the level is become sixty, should be the ESD closet from one hundred percent to zero. That's me shut it in the ESD. No more the gas and liquid is coming to the separator to protect it. The carry over of the liquid to the gas line. When the gas is with liquid is carry over the gas, it's go to where? To the LP. LP, like I said, never ever is accept the liquid. Look, I got to the tuning, okay guys. In the tuning, look, I want to bring my watch, my the chart here. Charts. Just I wanted to show you. In the chart we have a three different point, guys. Okay. Look, the chart I uh, is by the way, it, some guys in some company they're not calling chart as any trend, okay? But no problem. By the way, it's showing is several things important that you want. For my side, I wanted to see all the time the level of the separator. Look, the red one is the level of the separator. The green one is what is the pressure of the separator. The blue one is this is a flow, it's passed through the PSB. Still now is zero. Okay, the level 45. The pressure is 3.844 the bar. Okay. Why I dedicated what? I dedicated. I dedicated what? I dedicated the flow path through where to the the PSB. Why? Because if any flow is passed through there, directly I recognize. I know I have a big problem inside of the separator because when the PSB pop up, that is mean you are getting the big problem. Okay, should be it's all the time because before it's opening the PSB, we have a SIS system. That means if the pressure be become high, high is also what is happen is the ES is also trip is shot. Okay, that means by the high high level, by the high high pressure, by the low low pressure, by the low low level. It's all of them is tripping what tripping the ESD, okay? But in this video, that I want to show you how the if the level is become high high, the ESD trip and shut closed from 100% to zero to not allowing anymore the gas and liquid is go to the separator, okay? And let's go there, okay? Okay, look here. This is a controller that I have, LIC controller. It's in on mode auto and the direct and about the set point you have a 45. Just write down you want to increase to 50. Okay, look the respawn, the PV is 45, but should be increased to where? Look the chart. The red one is the my chart, my the level. Look, it's coming down, up, coming down, up to it's become the 50. Okay, guys, look. It's 51, 50, that's been it take a time to what to become stable, okay? Still now in the 50, we are still saved. We have a put to 52. Look, the, the, the PV there, that's mean that real the level inside the separator is became like a PV. That's mean the process variable. I put it 53, okay? Look, the level increase is also 55. When I put it to 55, guys, look, maybe I get an alarm here. No, it's still not. Look, I put it the alarm is also. That means I said if get high, if 55, if the level is reach 55, give me the alarm. Say we have a high alarm. If the level is reach 59, it give me the alarm high high. Okay. Why I need, for example, put this data a alarm because. The alarm is help you. For example, if I get a high alarm, should be I check my separator. Okay, I check my separator to see what's going on, what's wrong, why the level is become high. Maybe sometimes the outlet there, that the liquid is go to the next point. The next point is closed. Okay, and maybe sometimes the too much of the liquid and the gas is coming to the separator. For that reason, it give me what? It give me the the alarm to help us to help the control the panel to check and look in the, the system why we are getting the high alarm I put it 57 guys 
Look, when you put the 57 and the PV is look, you get a high alarm. For that reason, the panel operator, the guys that they control in the plant, okay, should be is looking for why I get the alarm. Maybe something is wrong. Should be it should be he find out the problem and he fix. If he not fixing, the level is increasing more. I put it 59, okay? When you put it 59, guys, look, it become high, high alarm. It's become high, high alarm. At that time, shoof, look, guys. When it become high, high alarm, it's reach secrecy, okay? When I put it 59, but the variation in the PV, it's reach 50. Secrecy. Directly, the ESD is, the position is close to the zero. 100% close to zero. That is... That is really why you say the height is so unique. That means we all go into the real situation lies scenario. Okay? Really guys, believe me, it's, it's sometimes I saw this scenario by myself, by my eyes, okay? If from my for example, when I when I uh, a control room, when I uh, operation engineer and uh, shift engineer and supervisor and superintendent I saw this scenario for that reason it should be the panel control operator is so critical okay should be it take action as soon as possible okay I put it 55 okay again look it's a rate of secrecy for that reason the ES is also tripped again look that is means it's really so unique it's reaching back to the secrecy level the ESC tube is also I put it back to the 100% okay look the level how it's changed in my chart look that has been this is a like a real 100% life that the control panel is locking every day okay that is it's so perfect guys okay it's also for the pressure that the, the gas is rotated through the LP compressor and the splitter how it's working, okay? Let me show another thing is about the PSV. Look, the PSV right now the pressure is how much? 3.84. The PSV, I say the PSV, if you are reaching to 3.9, you have to be open, okay? To protect white. In 3 PSB, 3 that means the opening or starting to open in 3.9. When it reaches the 4 bar, it fully open the PSB, okay? Look, guys, I wanted to show, I wanted to check and monitor it and focus on the in the blue line, okay? This is the, the amount, the flow that passes through to where to the PSV. Look, right now it's zero. The wide because the pressure is still not 3.8. I go to the, the split controller. I want to change the amount of the the what the the pressure. You have to check the molar here, and you can focus on the on the flow also. It can increase to 3.89, guys. I can put it four, and let me check it is increased or not. Because still so now the PV, that means the amount of the gas here is not too much. Let me control, let me go to here and increase 12 bar to 18 bar. Look, when I put the 18 bar directly, the what the PSV is open. Look, it is changing the PSV, changing the PSV of the color, okay, the color of the PSV. For that reason, and also the level is getting high, high, for that reason, it's trip it again. That's why all the time I said really really the hysis is so helpful to us. We can do anything that we 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 need, that we want. Okay. Again the PSB is open. Look. The both of them the level on the the flow is shut, you know? When the 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 pressure increase, the level increases also. When the pressure down coming down and, and up the level increases again because there's too much flow that's coming to here. Again, ESC is shorted. I changed my the pressure. For that reason, the pressure is so critical, so important in our plant. Okay? I can go back to the amount, the percentage of the ESC. I can open it again. Look, when I open it, open it again, the level is changed again. It's back to the 
too much variation in here 44 46 it became like a set point that they put it okay guys this is a total idea that uh, I wanted to share with you I hope you can get some information and if you want for example to become expert on the highest you can contact me as soon as possible don't lose your time don't lose your chance till the next till the next video have a good day bye bye guys